Especially coming off of that. Yeah, we need that SOS album. We gotta find a nigga to hate before that come out. Scissor DM me a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Oh, saying what? Pull it up. She, you know, talking about pull it up. The battle and all that. Oh, yeah. She yeah. said. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So Kendrick Lamar didn't hold anything back in his vicious rap battle with Drake earlier this year, but he claims to not be an angry person at heart. In his first profile since the year defining feud, Kendrick covered the Harper's Bazaar 2024 November Voices issue on Monday, which had him in conversation with former Top Dog Entertainment teammate Caesar. Kendrick explained during the chat how he doesn't believe he's an angry individual, but how the duality of love and war do pose a need to exist. So while not Lucas proved decisive in his feud with Drake, Kendrick defined what the phrase means to him culturally and it's much bigger than anything OVO related. Saying not like us is the energy of who I am, the type of man I represent and now if you identify with the man that I represent, this man has morals, he has values, he believes in something, he stands on something, he's not pandering. Especially coming off of that yeah, we need that. SOS album. We gotta find a nigga to hate. Before that come out. Since it DM me a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Oh, saying what? Pull it up. She, you know, talking about pull it up. The battle and all that. Oh yeah. She yeah. said, yeah, it's a big TDE bitch. <laughs> not in those words. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> not not in those words, but uh yeah, we had a cool conversation. She she she's cool. She she helped she the conversation felt like first of all, she led with she respects me and she she supports me and has followed me throughout the years. So I, that was very like, whoa, okay, mm-hmm. dope. I appreciate that. So she started with that. Oh, and then you know she dropped the. Mm-hmm. But um, but it was it was a fun conversation. We 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 had a good conversation. Um, did she say tell Rory hi or not? Nah, she don't fuck with him. No, she didn't say tell Rory hi. Oh, okay. She didn't say she don't fuck with him, but she didn't say tell him tell him hi. But she you know she she gave me her opinion and her stance on certain things throughout that whole battle and then uh do they align with yours obviously not um certain things she understood where i was coming from certain things she understood where i was coming from uh but it was one thing in particular i think i had said when she dm'd me that she was more so oh it was um she was telling me that she was hurt because she was like yo i you know i didn't even want to send this message to you because i really i like you i fuck with you she was like but it would hurt me to hear you say that you weren't you weren't gonna watch the Super Bowl because Kendrick was performing, and I laughed. I was like, "Yo, you think that I'm serious when I, I said that? Like, of course I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl. Like, who's not? I have to watch it. I have to talk about it. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was her reason, and like she really thought that I was serious about that. And she said that that kind of like, like re- damn, you really like shit. Like, you're not gonna even watch the Super Bowl, but like you that. And I was like, no, it's 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 not that serious. I was definitely just talking shit. So that's what the conversation was about. And then we just started talking about a bunch of. Other I think I think a lot of us, especially you though, I think sometimes you say things sarcastically, but you're just very good at doing it. And people really believe that you believe what you're saying. If anybody believes that I'm not watching the Super Bowl, like, come on. I, look, you know what I do for a living? I have to watch that shit. Well, if SZA wants to make sure you're watching it, you're more than welcome to join our watch party. To remove the Super Bowl aspect when he's up there doing his Super Bowl speech. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to play that now. I hated this, but go ahead. During my lifetime, the first Super Bowl was here. I made sure I bought tickets at the beginning of the season. And you know, I did the same when I moved to Miami and I was wishing my team make it. And guess who made it that year? The motherfucking Saints. They won't make it this year, don't worry about that. And that's not his team. He's a Packers fan. No, I ain't Packers fan. I was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans and they had a fucking ball. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my ass off to get that fucking position. Away from me. I hate this. But this motherfucking moment right here. They can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for yourself for being amazing. <laughs> I hated every. Why did you? Every why didn't you like that moment? He playing a victim role, damn near. <laughs> what if he feels like a victim? How would you feel like? Well, there's one part we don't know because I don't like when he keep when he says this was snatched from me. Right. I okay. don't like that. 
we haven't seen anything now whether he had a conversation behind the scenes with Hove or somebody who told him he might be in, in the running or considered for it, we don't know. We never but saw the short list. We never saw saying. anything where they said you had the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm, so right. what is snatched from you? <clears throat> it was assumed by you and a lot of your fans and a lot of the public. Like I told y'all, right last year after the, the game, um, when they announced New Orleans and everything, we started to see the memes go around. Oh, they got to pick Wayne. They got to pick Wayne. I think a lot of people, I think Wayne himself believed that. Yep. Yeah, they got to pick me. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but I don't think that That's that, not snatched away that's from That's entitlement. Me. I don't believe, well. That's all I'm saying. He may be entitled, so I don't want to sound like I'm arguing that. And maybe I don't like this announcement either. But I don't think he's operating off of what fans and memes said. I, I agree with that too. I mean, he could have believed the think, same. I think that he had, no, but I think it's based from something. It's based on, I feel like me, I ain't spoke mm -hmm. to nobody, I ain't got no facts. Mm -hmm. I think he did. I think he definitely spoke to Hove or somebody on that board that's Committee in charge of that. I think they may have told him, laid out a guideline of things that the person they pick has to accomplish and do. I think he might have went and went about trying to check some of the things off that list. And maybe he didn't like how that he found out the news that Kendrick was performing, which is maybe you found out when the rest of us found out. Mm. And if that happened, then I could see him feeling like or feeling bold enough to say, hey, it was snatched from me. I don't think he's just working off of this was in New Orleans. I'm me. This should happen. I mean, I think the, the Dr. Dre L.A. Mm -hmm. situation got people starting to associate artists with, with towns. With, with with the town. mm -hmm. But that's a ridiculous way to, to pick somebody. You want to pick the biggest, hottest, most important artist at that moment or a legend. I don't want somebody because if someone comes to Philly, I don't assume Pink is going to be there or Beanie Siegel or, you know, or Meek Mill, whoever. I want if, if whoever the biggest person is, that's who I want. And I think we shouldn't even start to think about associating the artist with the town, especially for the Super Bowl. And I feel like amongst artists, I mean, or in entertainment, a lot of things can get lost in translation. A lot of things could get, it's the phone game. By the time this message get to you, how it got to you versus what really happened, mm -hmm. there's, there's a chance for some mm -hmm. slippage. Mm -hmm. True. Very true. Mm -hmm. Happens every day. I'd like to see Wayne part of a performance in New Orleans. I think that would be amazing. I don't think he should be headlining a performance in New Orleans. And I feel like all the speeches and monologues is taking him even out of consideration mm -hmm. for being part of any of that. Now. But I feel like that's a deal breaker. He's not going to be a part of the performance. He, he, was, is, he has he's to be the, the performance. Yeah. And that's wild to me. Could Kendrick be. was going to bring out Wayne. He, he should come out. I mean, that'd be, a, a, to me, a crowning achievement. Kendrick was not bringing out Wayne. It's, it's a for example. You know, he wasn't. But it's, it's a for example. Although it would be kind of ill. I, I think Wayne wouldn't come out. I think Kendrick might invite But the him. same way Wayne is documented in interviews saying, if I get my chance at the Super Bowl, that's my spotlight. And I'm not, I don't plan on sharing it with everybody. I think people feel like that. Mm. I don't think they like, yeah, but I don't but think the Kendrick. Like Kendrick already shared the stage with all of these millions of people in L.A. That, but that's that's my. It's point, my turn. Though. It's my time to shine now. So I, it's almost like paying your dues a little bit. Not saying Wayne has to, but if Kendrick had that mindset, there's no there's no saying that he gets this shot. Whereas no, nah, I'm not let I'm not letting nobody bring me out. Like I'm I'm not sharing the stage with Fact, nobody. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll play this role today. I'll uh, sit here and let y'all bring me out today. But when my time come, then I can do that. Yeah, it's a good point. But if. if so you saying if Kendrick would have had he played the, the game mentally? Yeah, yeah. He said he's saying he played the game. I think yeah. he had no choice. He did have. You do a have, no you have a choice always, but if Dr. Dre, you're from L.A. and Dr. Dre and Snoop call you and say, "Yo, I want you to perform in the Super Bowl with us," that is celebrating and highlighting Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You get your ass on that stage, right? It's okay, not, it's so not now, as simple as that, though. But but let's just let's just for the sake now, now. All right, great. Dre and Snoop call. I accepted it. Now they got to go run it up a board. Mm -hmm. That board says yes to me, Kendrick. So now I have the opportunity to do that. A thousand percent. We don't know that that's the case with Wayne. Oh, no, no, no. I know. I'm saying. We don't know if there's even something some, something or somebody blocking him from that door being open. No, we just I'm, don't not, I'm not even speaking to I'm just speaking that's, to us saying that Wayne might have the mindset of, I don't want to share that stage. I just want it to be me. Like we said, if Kendrick were to even invite him, he may not go. I say that's a mistake. I say, hey, Go. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Show that, yeah, yeah, show yeah, that you play. Your ball. Super Bowl might not have to be in New Orleans. So what? You might get the Super Bowl two years from now in fucking Detroit somewhere or something. Mm -hmm. So still fire. Yeah, 
That's my thing. That's it's just it. people attach the city to that because, like Mark said, because of the L.A. situation. People attach it, okay, it's New Orleans, it has to be this. Oh, next year is Atlanta, it got to be somebody from... No, it don't. It ain't, it ain't never been that until then. how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's all. And it might just not be that... Because I think everybody wants this to be a conspiracy. You know, there's the philosophical principle. Sometimes the simplest explanation is the, is the, is the most, most likely one. Like, maybe people just don't think he'd be good. That's what... I, think, or, I, think or, that is I didn't want to say that, but yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Kendrick just had the best year, damn now, out of any musician out. But take Kendrick off the table. Do you think Lil Wayne will put on a good Super Bowl-level performance? I, think he I the, say no. I think he has the ability to do so. I think no. the Super Bowl is 13 minutes, and I think that if Wayne took the, the Super Bowl performance seriously, as I think he would, I think that Wayne could put on a 13-minute performance that would be dope. I don't think the time is the problem. I think, yeah. again, the, the performance aspect for the Super Bowl and the records that you need for the Super Bowl I don't think Wayne has that 